Trump breaking news. Joe Biden's economy has the support of a former Trump advisor, was incorrect, Larry Kudlow, who was an economic counselor to President Trump, has now acknowledged that the United States economy is performing better than anticipated under President Joe Biden and that he was mistaken in his forecast of an impending recession. During her appearance on Thursday's America Reports on Fox News, Kudrow said, I was wrong about the slowdown and the recession. The whole predicting community was, too, Kudrow, who is now a host on Fox Business Network, stated Da on January 25. The Bureau of Economic Analysis released a study showing that the nation's GDP expanded 3.3% in the last quarter, which was higher than expected. According to Biden, the most recent GDP numbers prove that his economic measures have been successful in sustaining and reviving the economy following the pandemic. Last Monday, Biden made a statement announcing the following economic data, a 3.1% annual growth rate, 2.7 million new jobs, and core inflation regaining its pre-pandemic level. Wages, wealth, and employment have all recovered to pre-pandemic levels. Families and workers in the United States will be pleased to hear that. Under my watch, the economy has grown for three consecutive years by focusing on the middle and working its way up, and the next presidential election, which is already looking like a probable rematch between Trump and Biden, the status of the U.S. economy is anticipated to play a pivotal role. We'll provide updates on this breaking news topic later on. The new dating show trailer has Stormy Daniels criticizing conservatives. The adult film actress is returning for a second season as presenter of four. The Love of Dilfs The Out TV reality show follows Daniels as he mentors a group of LGBT youths called the Him Boss as they pursue romantic relationships with a variety of older men they call daddies. The last two couples to leave the DALF house with $10,000 and, one hopes, true love, drawing parallels to the popular British dating show Love Island, Daniels, who is an outspoken supporter of the LGBTQ community, addressed conservatives in the preview, after declaring, I am truly running out of creative ways to pee asterisk 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 off conservatives. The 44-year-old showed a montage of dramatic sequences from season 2. How does Stormy Daniels feel about politics? Stephanie Clifford, better known as Daniels, changed her party affiliation from Democrat to Republican in 2010. The reality personality, who calls herself a fiscal conservative with liberal social views, claimed that the Republican Party best embodies her libertarian principles. A frugal investment in the form of a $2,000 reimbursement to contributors for spending at a bondage themed strip club prompted Daniels to decide to change parties. Daniels stated, It is time that our government and our tax policy begin rewarding entrepreneurship and creativity again. For the sake of building a robust economy and a powerful America, it is time once more to encourage constructive risks and unconventional thinking. To me, this spirit is encapsulated by the fact that the RNC spent donor money at Voyeur, a nightclub in Los Angeles. The human rights campaign conducted a poll in 2022 that found that among LGBTQ persons and their allies in the United States, her Republican voting status places her in the minority. Among those who identify as equality voters, 81% cast a Democratic ballot in the midterm elections of 2022, according to the HRC. A number of Republican candidates' radical platforms, including outright bans on abortion and same sex marriage, turned off equality voters, according to the study's authors. Still, Daniels has long been an ally to the LGBTQ community. Following the 2018 revelation of her alleged affair with Donald Trump, she attributes her recovery to the support of the community. There was intense public outcry against Daniels after the then-president denied the one-night stand Michael Cohen, Trump's lawyer, was found guilty of campaign finance crimes in connection with the $130,000 that he allegedly paid to Stormy Daniels in 2016. In 2018, she took Trump to court twice, once for libel and again to challenge the legality of a non-disclosure agreement she had signed. Nevertheless, the courts rejected both cases. She took legal action by suing Cohen and her former lawyer Keith Davidson, alleging that they conspired to shield Trump from justice. May 2019 saw her reach settlements with the two guys, 
Daniels thanked her LGBTQ plus fans in a 2023 interview with Pink News for supporting her during what she called the worst five years of her life. Most people make the joke that, when, life gives you lemons, make lemonade, remarked the woman, I received spoiled oranges instead of lemons, what on earth are you supposed to do with that? The sheer magnitude of it all became too much at one point. I was unable to leave the house.